Okay, I got that really long wall to do now. 189, that one is. So I'm just going to clip off the end here. Got it at the 45 degree angle. Have it lined up this way. Okay. I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to cut it off a little bit so I make sure I have plenty of overage on the other end. I've got this long piece. I've got my tape measure all the way down to the end. I can't hook that other end. I just leave my tape measure real long like this and lock it. That's why I lock, like the locking tape measures. Most of them are locking nowadays anyways. I'll walk down there and make sure I'm on the very outside tip of that, the back side. Okay, I got that tape held exactly where I want it. Now I can come down here and mark at 189. So 189 is from outside to outside, long point to long point. I'm going to cut this out of 45, you remember? So 189 is the back side of the long side. And because this is a half inch tall material, what am I going to do here? Measure back to 188 and a half, right there. And that's where I'm going to cut it at that angle. And then it's going to finish up at 189. It's situated in a place. Make sure I'm going up tight to that. That. And that's where I want the blade. Make sure I'm at a 45, which I am. This time I'm going to hold it and put my hand over here. And look down, I'm going to look down over this way and try to get it. If anything, I want to make it just a hair long, if anything, because I don't want to really mess up on the, on the, the exact cut. Put that one up. 